I already feel a lot more clear <laughs> and it's so funny to think that way. Hello everyone and welcome back to Raising Wellness. My name is Shelby and I wanted to come to you guys with a special video this week about my journey with downsizing and minimizing my life and also moving into a zero waste lifestyle. This has been something that has been on my heart and on my mind for over a year now and I've just never been able to take that leap and take that jump. And for those of you watching this who have been living in Florida like me. We just went through that huge scare of Hurricane Irma and that caused me to have a huge jump start into seeing what is truly important in my life, what is truly necessary and and something that I want to both have or create in my life. And it was really funny when I was packing, the things that were important were books, three of my books, um, things about the natural environment, things about energy and energy work, and another book that's very near and dear to my heart called The, Un, um, the Untethered Soul. Uh, and that is all about meditation and the um, act of surrendering and letting go in your life. And it was a wake-up call for me to see like what was truly important because I have so many clothes, I have uh, art, I have um, records, I have um, lots of workout equipment, I have lots of little decorations and things, just a lot of clutter that was happening both in my home life and in my kitchen as well as in my business life and in my office space here in the house. And so because of Hurricane Irma, because of that scare, I am now ready to fully get rid of things that aren't true to my core self of wanting to help spread love and help spread the health to anyone that I possibly can with my business and also just spread the awareness of sustainability and environmentalism and the absolute necessity and um, responsibility that we have as humans on this earth to be stewards of the land and to uh, act and preserve and take care of the earth that sustains our life. So those are the things that are true to my core, true to me, and even though Hurricane Irma was a huge, huge scare and it caused me so much anxiety and we had to drive over 33 hours to get out of the storm's way, it has granted me with this time and this space to actually take action upon becoming more minimal, becoming more zero waste and truly aligning with what my goals and my core beliefs are in this world. And so I'm gonna be mixing a little bit of the KonMari method and a little bit of the methods from The Minimalist. I can't remember their names right now, um, but if you guys haven't heard of them, The Minimalists are amazing. It's two guys. And they're actually on tour right now doing talks all around the United States and maybe in the UK. I'm not positive on that. But I'm going to be mixing some of their methods, and I believe his name is John, one of the minimalists. And what he did when he first stumbled upon this lifestyle, when he was trying to get rid of a lot of stuff in his life, he packed everything up. I'm talking everything. Everything was in a box in a spare bedroom that he had. And then even like his couches and stuff, he put cloths over them and would only unveil them or pull things out of the boxes when he needed them. And after 30 days, he found all these things were still in boxes. So many things were still in boxes. And with the KonMari method, it's a little bit about picking, it's about picking things up and seeing if they uh, create joy in your life, if they create a feeling of joy, and if they don't, then to get rid of them. And those are the very like baseline beginning topics of both of those methods. So I'm going to um, mesh them both together, and I haven't seen anyone else do this, so maybe it's the first time that someone's doing it, but I'm going to attempt it. And I am going to put everything into one bin, 
and I'm going to do it like KonMari does it, the KonMari method, where you go through uh, different sections of your house. So you do all of your clothes all at once, and then you move on to all of your kitchen stuff, and then you move on to all of your books and your papers. So I'm going to be doing a 30 days of everything in this one box because I don't have like a huge spare bedroom to put everything into one box and I also live with someone. I'm going to put for 30 days all of my clothes into this one box and pull out whatever it is I need and after 30 days I'm going to see what I have and then after that I'm going to move on to books and papers etc etc. So it's going to take a couple of months but I'm going to really be able to hone in on those things that are super important to me and to my core beliefs as I grow and learn through this experience. So I'm going to start with my clothes and I hope you guys will tune in for that. I'm going to put everything into this box right here. Sorry my house is a mess right now, that box. Uh, my house is a mess right now because Hurricane Harvey or Hurricane Irma came through and we had to bring everything in and everything is just kind of a cluster right now because we had to buy so much supplies for the potential of not having power or water or fuel for weeks, <laughs> but thankfully we don't. So I'm going to put everything into this box and clean up my house a little bit and I will get back to you after. before the hurricane so that was all clothes that were in this dresser so that's empty except for a couple of drawers that are my boyfriend's hats shoes and this is all the stuff I packed when we were going away so it's a smattering of things um, shorts dresses shirts bathing suits this is like my underwear drawer stuff okay so this is everything I have suitcase, this bin of shoes, and then hats, and everything else is in here. And what I did was I packed it um, with things, because I already knew I had some things that I didn't use that often. So like a lot of my gym clothes are up here on the top, a lot of my socks, sports bras, underwear, things like that are on the top there, because I know that I will be grabbing those more often and then I'm not sure if you'll be able to see in here oh yes okay perfect so I have these things out still I have this shirt because otherwise it gets super wrinkly and that will stop me from wearing it so let me see if I can get this brighter in here okay and then I have my rain jacket because I always use that because in Florida it rains a lot so I have that and then this dress right here which will get really wrinkly if I put it anywhere. And then I downsized my hangers to just these, made them all pretty colors. And all my other hangers are in, I have a suitcase of hangers. That's just like ridiculous to me. So ridiculous. So I have all these hangers, so many hangers. So those are all going in there and I'm limiting myself to just those hangers that you see in there. And just so you guys know, empty. Up here is just like accessories. I'm gonna do a different month for those things. And then here, empty. Pretty painting I'm working on. Okay, and all of this is all my stuff and it's empty. And then all these down here are my things.
a lot more clear <laughs> and it's so funny to think that way but I feel a lot more clear everything seems more organized it makes me feel less cluttered in my mind to just see those three things in my closet so I'm really working to get all of this stuff down and condensed into this one box so that I can travel and work at the same time and not have to worry about having so many things and just have the things that I need and the things that are meaningful to me if you guys are on a minimalist journey or a zero waste journey or any kind of journey to declutter your life and come back into alignment I would love to hear from you I'd love to see anyone else out there that's doing this and we can chat about it and be friends because of it because we have that similarity so if you guys have any interest in this stuff I would love to hear from you down in the comments below and I will see you for the next video the next one I'm gonna do is going to be books so stay tuned for that Thank you.